morning folks hope y'all are having a good day just sitting here oh here comes maddie Hi. check this out ephesians chapter 5 i've read this before and it talks about living in the light you can be sure that no immoral impure or greedy person will inherit the kingdom of christ and of god for a greedy person is an idolater worshiping the things of this world there's a lot of good verses, a lot of good wisdom in the Bible. A greedy person is an idolater, meaning that greed becomes an idol and worships the things of the world. And it warns us against that. And it's giving us advice about how to live in the light and what do we worship above God. And is greed a problem in our life? It's like the Toby Keith song, it's all about me, it's all about my or I. All I want to talk about is me, that song. And worshiping the things of this world is a dangerous place to be because usually the things of this world have no... I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Things of this world have no inherent value, depth to them. I'm looking at my wife to see if she'll shake her head. <laughs> um, but it's true. And this is going on, this is getting lengthy. Um, and I don't know where I was going with that, and I've totally lost my train of thought. Um, but anyway, don't be greedy. Don't put. Don't make greed your idol. Don't worship the things of the world, meaning all the things the world chases. Um, and greed is one of those. Greed doesn't doesn't allow us to connect with other people. Greed gets in the way of us uh, hearing God's story for our lives. Greed gets in the way of us connecting and relating with other people. Greed gets in the way, just like any other idol in our life, they get in our, they're in our way um, of the things that God actually created us to do while we're on this planet. So one of the things we should do today is get in God's Word, spend time with our families, and go win the day. See you.